So in a previous upload on this channel, I showed you guys step-by-step step how to sculpt this female character over here. But what we're gonna be doing this bit is adding hair to that character. So I'm gonna link in the description below a free download. You can either download it via BlendSwap or you can download it on my Gumroad for free. And once you have the free file downloaded, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna follow along and I'm gonna show you how to make some basic hair. You can see here it is, just a very simple setup. Now the idea here is just to add hair in a very basic way to your character to kind of see what your character would look like with hair. If you want to take hair a lot more, uh, a lot further, there's a lot more to advanced tutorials out there that cover different layerings and um, different advanced levels, doing braids, things like that, different cut types of hair, all interwoven. But this is just the simplest way you can quickly make some hair and get some pretty decent results. So if you want to learn how to do this, keep watching and let's make some hair. So if you've downloaded the model in the description below, what you're gonna do is open it up and you're gonna see this is it right over here. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be grabbing the actual mesh, the head over here. And let's go into our edit workspace. Let's just go to our vertex select option and we're gonna go into the right or graphic view by pressing free on the number pad. And let's go into the X-ray up here, right? Switching on a toggle. And then we're just gonna press C to bring up the selection tool, so C. And then you can roll the middle mouse button to increase the size. Let's go ahead and just paint like so, coming back up here. And we just wanna kind of like paint our scalp like this. So we're gonna come over here. We wanna make sure we don't get the ears. So let's come behind the ears here like so. And then down over here and then up like so. And then this little bit here. And then if you have to, you can zoom in a little bit closer. And let's just come around the ears. Very careful, we don't want to actually get the ears themselves. Okay, so now we have it selected and we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate, right click to let go. And let's go P and separate by selection. Now we're gonna go back into object mode and let's toggle off the X-ray. And now we have this head.001, this component right here. Let's tab into edit mode, A to select everything and then go Alt S and scale it in like so. Alt S and scale it into the head tab back out, and the thing with this is, we can leave it as it is, but because we're not actually gonna be um, seeing it, to save it a little bit of time, um, space, and processing, let's go over here to our modifiers, and let's give this a decimate. And let's come here and make the ratio 0 0.2, like so, and let's come to the drop down and apply that. So now, it is a lot um, less dense, okay? So that's pretty cool. So now with this scalp, in fact, let's just call it, come here and call it scalp. Let's come over down to our particles. Let's hit plus to create a new system. And we're gonna change it to hair. And let's come here to the length. Now, obviously this model is really large. So this meter rich here is not to scale. So we're just gonna go, you know, with something like, uh, I don't know, let's go 1.6 around about there. And I keep, once again, please keep in mind, that this is not to scale. So that's why it's 1.6. In reality, this is not 1.6 meters in real life. Then we're gonna go down to our uh, children. Let's make it interpolated. And that kind of reminds me, we probably only need about 300 with the number up here. We don't need to go too crazy. Enable advanced. And let's also go down to the render or the render up here. And let's just go enable B spline and let's make this four. And in our viewport display, let's take this trans steps up to four as well. Just give us some nice definition in the particles. And let's just also go down under the children and let's just um, make the render amount. Um, let's just leave it as it is. And we'll leave the display as 10 for now. And let's just go over to our materials while we still have the scalp selected and just get rid of this for now, okay? So now we have the scalp and let's go over into our particle edit. Let's press N to bring up our properties. Let's go to the tools. Under the options here, let's make sure the children are enabled and that we bump the strands up to four so we can see how it should look. And then in our right graphic view, we're just gonna go, make sure if you press T that you see your tools. We want the comb tool. And we're just gonna go ahead and comb. Now, if it's going into the scalp like that, what we need to do is um, just come up here to the distance and let's just increase that a little bit. And now you can see it's not interacting as settled as much. So let's just maybe bring it to about 0.6. That looks good. And then we're gonna come like so and just comb it all to the side. 
and down like that and then grab it over here and kind of tuck it up at the back and then we're going to press f just to shrink the brush and let's do it over here and let's just bring them closer and closer like so and bring this out a little bit and maybe tuck this hair up here a little bit like so now um, let's go to the top of the graphic and let's just paint through like this i should have had x-ray mode toggled on when i did that but it doesn't really matter let's just go to the side and tuck it in so we're gonna come over here bring it in a little bit bring those two together like so and so far this is what we have it's looking pretty good um and let's now in our front view just kind of even things out a little bit by just tucking on the hair like so squishing it in here on the sides a little bit and over here let's bring it up so that's looking pretty cool but what we're going to do now is we're actually going to come here and we're going to go to the add so we're going to add some particles and then here on the side in fact let's just press a to select everything and press h to hide it and then we're going to come here on the side and we're just going to click to add in some more particles and let's come over here and click again just here on the side a few times and over here let's um, do the same thing click here on the side just to add a few more particles and then we're going to go to our comb and now we're going to go here and we're just going to comb it down on the side and down on the side over here bring it out a little bit and then over here on the side we're just going to take that and tuck it over the ear and through like this a little bit maybe let it hang in and over here as well and i think i'm going to turn off the x mirror here because it's just confusing things a little bit so yeah let's just tuck these in to the side and then from the side here you can look at it like this and just kind of give it a nice dynamic shape like that okay that's looking pretty cool over here we'll kind of make it hang a little bit I'm going to bring this distance down just a little bit so I can tuck it in a little bit closer. Just mess around a bit, but we're trying to aim for something like this. And I'm going to press C just to bring up the selection tool and just select some of these particles here. I think there's too many. I'm going to go Control L and we'll Control Plus just to grow to selection. I'm going to press Delete and then delete the particles. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep it at this for now, like that. And then we're going to go Alt H just to bring everything back. And I'll just adjust it a little bit more. Maybe bring these hairs out. Okay, now we're going to go back into our object mode and let's go enable our lights and let's go into our camera view. Let's hit Z and let's go rendered. And this is what we have so far. We can still make it look a bit better. So let's grab with our scalp selected. Let's go to our particles. And let's go under to the hair shape and let's just make it 0.3 or 0.2 over here. I'll go with something like 0.3 actually. And then let's also go to our roughness and let's just make it ununiform just a little bit. There's a little bit of ununiform and then a little bit of endpoint, like so. Let's just come here and enable use um, clump curve. And then we can kind of drag this one down here, drag this point down here. And then in the middle, we're gonna to click to add in a point. I'm gonna kind of drag it over like so. And now we kind of have a little bit more of the hair getting point here towards the end. Let's bring this down a little bit more. Something like that. I really like the way that looks. And now we're going to go into our camera. Let's hit Z. Let's go rendered. We have our lights, but now let's grab um, with our sculptor select. Let's just go to our materials. Let's go new and let's just call it hair. And let's come here to the surface and let's just use the default hair. So we're just going to go and get the hair BSDF. And now let's give this a color. I'm going to kind of go with a reddish kind of brown color, make it a little bit darker on the value. Maybe not a saturated, so something like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to save and let's go render and render the image. And here we have it. We've now created some really basic hair for a character. And you can obviously add many different layers to this, build on it and keep improving it. Um, but this is just a really, really simple and basic way you can quickly add hair to a female character in this case and just kind of visualize it. Um, there are a lot of tutorials out there that approach this to a much more advanced level. We layer on different types of hair and you know, like um, different patterns and things like that. But this is kind of just a really basic beginner's introduction to adding hair to 
your sculpted character really quick just to have a rough visual of what it might look like with some hair. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And once again, make sure you've downloaded the free file in the description below.